Hey, I'm Keith Snow. Welcome to Harvest Eating. Today we're going to cook with clams. For all of you people up in New England or maybe out in the uh, uh, Pacific Northwest, you'll have access to good fresh clams. Uh, my brothers are up on Cape Cod and uh, my one brother in particular will dig loads of clams fresh and we cook them like crazy in the summer. Here are some beautiful clams. One thing to note about clams, obviously you want fresh clams that were purchased from a responsible fishmonger or fish store. And there's several sizes of these clams. Uh, cockles, little necks, cherry stones, quahogs. Those are all words that describe different types of clams. The big ones are usually called quahogs and those are for stuffing and making chowder. They would not be the type of clam that you'd want to use in this dish. This is going to be sort of a, a little bit of a, a clam saute, if you will, kind of Italian style. We'll get into it. But these are nice fresh clams. They're all closed tightly and they've been um, rinsed and cleaned off because these things come out of the mud. There's a lot of ridges on these clams and they get really dirty. So when you catch them in the wild, like we do in the summer, we'll take a scrub brush and scrub them nice and clean. Otherwise, you've got a bunch of grit in your mouth and that's not fun to eat. So let's get started making this little clam dish. We've got a pot over here uh, that's starting to heat up a little bit. And the first thing we're going to do is take a good slab of bacon like this. And we're going to turn this bacon and cut it into what the French would call lardon, which is just big strips of bacon. And bacon and pork, particularly, uh, excuse me, bacon and shellfish get together quite well. So we'll get those going in there. And what we want to do is render, and that means that we want to take some of the fat out of this bacon and then we're going to saute some of the rest of our ingredients. So while that bacon is rendering out in that pot, let's take a look over here. This is fresh parsley and uh, I'll give you a little hint here. We're in the middle of November in Western North Carolina and my garden is absolutely overflowing with fresh parsley. So I just um, clipped this off of a bush five minutes ago, uh, ran it under the water, dried it off a bit. Now we're going to put a chop on it and just roll it up. Take your knife and run your knife right through the parsley. Turn it a little bit. We'll do that again. And I love the flavor of parsley with clams. Like if I'm making stuffed clams in the summertime, I'll definitely have a load of uh, fresh parsley in there. So that's uh, small enough for the parsley. All right, you can see that's starting to uh, render out, which is good. Now I'm going to work on a clove of garlic and just give it a little smash like that. Break it down. We'll turn the heat down a little bit on our bacon. Okay, so now we're going to add this one clove of garlic. And we have some onions here that have already been uh, minced up. These are white onions. We'll add this garlic right in there. This is about two tablespoons of white onions. And we'll start that going. I'm actually going to put in just a little touch of extra virgin olive oil. And now the smell is incredible. I mean, this is a great way to have your house smelling with bacon and onions and garlic. It doesn't get much better than this. So now we're going to take our clams and dump these guys right in the pot. We have a few other ingredients. This is some basil vinaigrette. And there's a video for this on the website. This was basil out of my own garden. I've got one heaping tablespoon of basil vinaigrette. We're going to dump that right in there. Just like that. Stir that around. And then here in this jar are fresh tomatoes that we canned. I'm an avid canner. These are local tomatoes that we can. The first thing we're going to do is pour off some of that nice 
tomato water right in there. And then we're gonna take a few chunks of this beautiful tomato filet. Whoop. Work with me, babe. Just like that. And just run our knife through it. And then we're gonna transfer it without spilling any right into our clam pot. Just like that. Take half of our parsley, put that in there. Kosher salt, good pinch, black pepper, like that. And then right here, right out of the Harvest Eating store, is our Northern Italian seasoning. Now don't freak out if you don't have it, if you can't buy it, you don't have to not make the recipe. Just get an Italian seasoning mix of your own at the store. This is the one that I prefer, it's 100% organic. We're gonna put a heavy pinch of that right in there. We'll take this spoon and just combine that mixture like that. And before I put the top on it, I'm gonna pour off a little more to tomato water, just like that. Cover them up. Let them steam open, and I'll show you how we're going to serve them in about two minutes. Okay, our clams have finished cooking. They look beautiful in here. We're going to move them right over here. And what we want to do is we've got a simple platter like this. We're going to serve these gorgeous clams and make sure we get all this delicious bacon and those tomatoes and onions and garlic. I'm sure this would make any Cape Codder or Bostonian person very happy. All you people down in Fall River that eat a lot of clams. And then in the bottom of this pot is where a lot of the real good stuff is hiding. We definitely want to scoop that up and pour that nice juice and those chunks of bacon right on top, just like that. How I like to finish this dish is with some of our fresh parsley, just right over the top like that. You can serve it with a little crunchy bread, and there you have a delicious clam dish. I don't know what I call it, but you saw me make it. Give it a try today.